Adding spice to stories and jokes with idiomatic expressions. Hello, learners. Today we are diving deep into a very exciting aspect of English language learning, idiomatic expressions, and how you can use them to level up your storytelling and joke telling skills. As we delve into this vibrant world, you'll understand how idiomatic expressions can add color, humor, and personality to your English conversations. Let's start our journey. Idiomatic expressions, or idioms, are phrases that have a figurative meaning, different from their literal meaning. For example, when we say, it's raining cats and dogs, we don't mean that pets are falling from the sky. Instead, it means it's raining heavily. These expressions can be confusing for English learners, but they're a key part of natural, fluent English speech. Imagine listening to a story that uses plain, straightforward language all the time. It would likely be a bit bland, right? Now, imagine a story filled with colorful idiomatic expressions. It becomes much more interesting and engaging, and it's the same with jokes. They make your language vibrant and help you sound more like a native speaker. Using idioms in storytelling isn't about stuffing your story with as many idioms as possible. Instead, it's about choosing the right idiom that fits the context and the message of your story. For example, if you're telling a story about a time when you were extremely busy, you could say, I was busy as a bee. Or if you're telling a story about a time when you were extremely surprised, you could say, my jaw hit the floor. Using idioms in jokes can be a bit tricky, but when done correctly, it can make your jokes even funnier. The key is to use idioms that have a double meaning or can be interpreted humorously in context. For example, if you were telling a joke about someone who talks too much, you could say, why don't we ever play hide and seek with Jim? Because good luck hiding when Jim can't keep his mouth shut. He's got the gift of the gab, Tip 1. Don't just memorize idioms. Try to understand the context in which they're used. Tip 2. Practice using idioms in your everyday conversation. Tip 3. Reading books, watching movies or shows, and listening to songs in English can help expose you to more idioms. And that's a wrap for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed exploring how idiomatic expressions can add a dash of spice to your storytelling and jokes. Keep practicing, and remember, English learning is a journey. Every idiom you learn is a step forward. Happy learning, everyone!